What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Greg here. John, how's it going? John is good today. How is Greg? Greg going good. Thank you for asking, my good, friend. Good, Greg. Good, John. Guys, we're going to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What episode and season is this? It's the season 20, episode 3 episode. That's what we're doing today, people. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. And also, sometimes it feels good to just sit back, maybe even lay down. And enjoy yourself a good comedy. And sometimes it's even great when you can do that with a sponsor that you're actually really grateful to be working with because you actually use their product. So thank you to today's video sponsor, Helix. Thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. So guys, as we've been partnering up with certain brands, we've been fortunate enough to be in the position of work with brands that we actually truly believe in and love. That is not a talking point. That is me just talking from my heart right now. We are so fortunate to work with them. They actually make really high quality premium mattresses customized to fit your needs. Conveniently shipped right to your door. Uh, both John and I each got a bed. The Twilight Lux, it's the second firm mattress that they have. Where I live now, we actually have a back house. And some of you guys might know this. I, I recently got the vid diesel. So to quarantine, you know, keep my fiance safe, I stayed in the back house. And over there is where we set up the Helix mattress. It was super easy. John actually has footage of him setting up his. You just open the box, unroll it, cut the plastic, watch it inflate. Uh, two of us doing it together. It only took like less than 10 minutes. It was the easiest bed setup I ever did in my life. But sleeping in that bed, I already have a bed in our master bedroom. I did not set up the Helix there because I was like, whatever, we just got this bed. Throw it in the back house. <laughs> that uh, is a decision I will forever regret. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because now we have someone renting that back house and they get to enjoy that bed. Really, while I had the vid diesel, while I was recovering, it was some of the best sleep I've ever had. My back actually felt so much better. I would find myself just wanting to go like, maybe I could turn this back house into my own little man cave and I could just sleep back here and watch TV. It is such a comfy bed. I'm telling you guys, we are so fortunate to work with them. Yeah, it's really easy to get set up. You take a quick quiz online at Helix Sleep. Com. They will match you to the best fit for your sleep style, and they will ship it to you with a 100-night trial period. So if you don't like it for any reason, you could send it back. Got a 10-year warranty. They really take the risk out of the whole situation for you. So yeah, click that link in the description box, helixsleep.com slash realrejects to save yourself $200 on your mattress. Plus, you get two free pillows and free shipping in the United States. Oh, yeah, guys. Thank you, Helix. Clear support. Supported them. Supports us. So, yeah. All right. On to the video. While Captain Holt's out of town at his conference, I'm in charge. Jake, I ordered you to throw out that gingerbread house. Guess who got their dealer? Nice. Chasing through a subway tunnel back up through a storm drain. Adrian and I got engaged, and then we busted him with cats. <laughs> <laughs> The getting engaged part? Oh, yeah. We got engaged. Engaged, engaged? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but it was super romantic. <laughs> Cut him off in the alley. Okay, wait. You want to get married? Yep. <laughs> God save Adrian Pimento. Adrian is about to ask you to be his best man. I need you to say yes, and I need you to act surprised. No problem. Check this out. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> B best man? <laughs> Sarge does not approve of the wedding, and honestly, it is killing me. I'm sure you're just reading into it. No. What are you doing? Pimento was nuts. <laughs> 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 anyway, I think Sarge would like him if he actually got to know him. So during the bachelor party, I need you to show him the real Adrian. I will make sure Sarge loves him. Great. Crap, here comes Adrian. You never saw me. All right. <laughs> So who are you thinking about inviting to the bachelor party? Maybe like, I don't know, Terry's great. Probably Terry is available. I could ask him. Sure, no, I was thinking all the guys from work, except Chuck. Rosa called dibs on him. Maid of honor? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Count me in as long as I get eight plus ones. Guys, hmm. focus. We need to start planning. So when's the wedding? Next summer, next fall, next winter? Next week. Next, next week? week? <laughs> Don't worry about that stuff. One dumb wedding thing I've always wanted was a bachelorette party. All the pressure's on that one event. Cool, cool, very cool. I'm not sleeping for the next 24 hours. Amen. Male strippers. Chippendale. I'm surprised he didn't want us all to get drunk and slash each other with machetes. He's not exactly stable. Die, bud! <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Don't use 
Frazier's name in vain. Copy that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> if Jade wants to pay for us to have a fun night out, let's not stop it. I'm not paying for it. We're splitting it. Well, then I'm with Terry. This wedding's a sham. <laughs> wow, how cool is this? TV on a bus? I never thought I'd see that. Who doesn't show up on time for their own party? Look, you said you'd keep an open mind with Pimento. He'll show. Just give him a shot. Is everybody comfortable back there? Does anybody need any? <laughs> Whoa. We need to go now. Someone's trying to kill me. Mine clothes, Jake. Mine clothes. He might be telling the truth. I bet he is. Look, I know you're upset because Memento seems a little amped up. We were going 90 with the headlights off. <laughs> you ask him in a supportive, non-confrontational manner, he'll give you a calm, logical answer. Fine. Why do you want to know? Who are you working for? I will cut you! <laughs> hey, uh, Adrian, can I borrow you what for one second? are sec? you doing? Look, we're all on your side here, Pimento. We all want to believe that you're about to be murdered. Thanks, man. But you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's everything I know. It all started... Jake, a word, please? What? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody else got to go outside. Get back on the phone! <laughs> <laughs> Sane, rational. Sarge, what do you think? Fine, we can go. But only to prove he's making this all up. Okay, okay. The important thing is you agreed we can go and you and Pimento are best friends now. Let's do it! <laughs> Tonight, we will be attending my nephew Anthony's 13th birthday party. That sounds awful. Which is what we're gonna do. It's a paintball party. Nice. Let's go shoot my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> we play in a league. A league. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, 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 guess I nailed it. Pressure's on, guys. Good. Pressure's my jam. Oh. I'm engaged! <laughs> that could seriously hit your soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that building right there. If Figus hired him, that means he's highly trained, armed, and very dangerous. The only problem is none of us are packing. Oh, not a problem. I've got an arsenal in my pants. <laughs> Okay, look, this was maybe a weird way to start the night, but the good news is we can still make our dinner reservation and no one got hurt. Actually, I cut myself real bad. Of course you did. <laughs> it's a drinking game. Get a question wrong, do a shot. Oh, and the questions, they're all about Rosa. But none of us know anything about Rosa. What is my favorite soup? Chicken noodle. Potato leeks. <laughs> I was a baby. My first word was dada. Drink. Ah! <laughs> No. Wrong! I can totally do a handstand. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'd like to make a toast to the groom to be Adrian Pimento. Don't bother, Jake. Everybody's pissed at me. No, no, we're not. We're all supporting you. We're doing separate checks, right? I told you we're splitting it. <laughs> and I'm sorry that earlier I went a little off the rails, stole all of your walls to double check your identities. What? But with friends like you finally starting to feel like there he is! Whoa, no. Sarge, look! A gun and a picture of Pimento. What do you have to say now? Someone's trying to kill him. That's right! In your face! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm also sorry that someone's trying to kill you, but I can really only take ownership <laughs> for the first part. Well, personally, I think I also deserve an apology. No? Okay, that's totally cool. So what's our plan? <laughs> Car battery, jumper cables, and unfettered access to his nibs. Maybe I should ask the questions. Hey, Jakey, if you're asking the waiter questions, find out when the mashed potatoes are coming. He's not a real waiter! <laughs> I'm a contract killer who was hired to kill Agent Pimento. Who wants me dead? I, I don't know. I haven't met the guy. Once I finish the job, I'm supposed to text him a photo of the body. Then we meet up and I get the money. Stage Pimento's death and go to the meetup ourselves. I thought of it before you did. Whatever, let's just do Sarge's thing, I guess. <laughs> Where are we going? A restaurant. La Petite Colon. It means small intestine. Because that's all they serve. Which is why they shut it down. We are demolishing it. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> First whack. I've been dreaming about this since I was a little girl. No! Yes. <laughs> He 
face, actually. <laughs> you need to make my main man, Pimento, look super murdered. Like Tarantino disgusting murdered. Sarge, blood. Headshot. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be creative again. And here comes the brains. Ugh. Nice. Photo taken. Sent. Nice. And he wants me to bring him your tongue. Oh. How did I not see this coming? He's always eating weird stuff like tongues and chicken faces. Oh, and he's already texted me back with a top 10 list. <laughs> you have the tongue? Yeah, it's all there. Jimmy Figgis thanks you. Uh, if he works for Figgis, he's new. Where's he going now? That's the FBI building. Holy shit. Just stay calm and be methodical. Right? Jimmy the Butcher Figgis has a man in the FBI. And he tried to have Pimento killed. And I cut my other cheek. How? I took the knife away from you. Oh, man. <laughs> right now, they think I'm dead. This is my only chance to get away safe. Jake, I need you to tell Rosa that I love her. Okay? No. Saying goodbye to her. You owe her that much. It's just too dangerous. Goodbye, 9-9. Nine -Nine. And with that, I left. <laughs> Oh, man. He wanted me to tell you that he loves you. Is that it? Did he say anything else? May the Lord be with you. Adrian. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> I was burning my fingerprints off in a gas station bathroom when I thought about what Jake said. I couldn't leave without seeing you one last time. I want to lick your whole body clean like a kitty cat. Yeah, I'm going to give you two a little space. <laughs> 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 and while I'm waiting, I will find that FBI agent and I will rip his head off with my bare hands. That is the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. I love you. I love you. Oh, huh. it's not fair. Sergeant Jeffords briefed me about the pimento situation. He's in the episode. <laughs> he had a large scar on his right palm. I have a similar scar on my back. Banged into Amy's kitchen cabinet. No big deal. Continue. Detective Pimento's a good man and he's one of us. So let's catch these bastards for him and Rosa. Nine, nine. Discreetly, Jacob. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> nine, nine. nine, nine. Uh, that was phenomenal. That was a good the whole episode. episode was phenomenal. Yeah, it was a great one. Such great rhythm. Oh, <laughs> and such a great game, too. Yeah. And them competing. Uh, Competing bachelor parties. So well edited. Yeah. That was like top B99 right there. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. It was it was not only like the bits were just so well done. I, mean, I love a good like any comedy sitcom, you know, bachelor, bachelorette party. I've seen it done in death so many times, but this was so creative in the way it was executed. Um like I loved no, you talk first, John. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I absolutely agree. I mean, this was, yeah, it, it was like all the characters were used just the right way. Yeah, yeah, okay. So here's what I want to say. No, <laughs> just go ahead. No, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it's one of those episodes that, that actually incorporates the cold open, and the cold open was so funny, but then it, it, I don't know, it just swept off into this, like, really inspired... It's like, okay, I guess we're doing this. And yeah, like the way it played games with the characters, but also, you know, b bothered to have it be something of a real story with actual stakes. It's like there were moments where I was like, oh my God, is he actually about to leave the show? Like, is this, you know, uh, I don't know. It, there are times when they make characters get together or get married or whatever, and you feel like, okay, this is just going to be a gimmick. But I started to lose the sort of track of, you know, trying to figure it out in your head, and I just got sucked into the fun, but also just the story at hand and the sort of mystery of, like, yeah, what's going on? Is he actually being pursued by somebody? And and it was about the time, I think, when, when uh, Jake texts Charles about the tongue. I was like, the part of what's so brilliant about this episode is it feels like everyone's together, even though they're not. Like the timelines yeah. sync up really well, and they're both like two, you know, they're mirrors, they're two halves of, a, of the same coin, but they're also totally different stories happening. So I like that you have a personal bonding story, but then you also have like a more madcap, uh, you know, actual crime story. And it actually got uh, pretty emotional at the end there. Mm -hmm. And it was neat to have how like Rosa's night is escalating into the best night ever. Yeah. And then, um, God, what's Jason Matthews said? Pimento. Pimento. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, and then Pimento's night is de escalating 
yeah. it's getting worse and worse. And so it does reach this like pinnacle point where, you know, it makes sense. Like it makes sense why he feels like why, why he'd have to go into hiding. It's an FBI agent. And then her ending on that note where it's like sweet with the people at the end of the bachelorette party. Like, I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life. Like, it was so sincere. You get to see a time where she actually gets emotional. Mm -hmm. And they kept it at the right pitch perfect note with them saying bye to each other with just enough humor, but not not too much to the point where it undercuts some of the sweetness. You yeah, know? totally. Like, it was tender. And I felt really, it was heartbroken for her in that moment. And it was making me go, no, I want Jay Spencer because he's returning. Because he's so I, funny. He's so, yeah. And, and it was so wacky, like the bachelor party. The bachelor party itself was so wacky. Mm. Uh, and I and I love the wackiness of how it unfolded with Jake having to maintain and manage everything, and then the and the and the quick cuts to having to talk to people to calm them down. <laughs> the Hitchcock it, it, and yeah, it yeah, was a great bit. The rotating in and out of them, but then even with uh, Pimento and having all the weapons that he's packed with like this giant arsenal of things, it felt like very Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Yeah, uh, the, this specific episode, I, I doubt they directed it, but it it felt like more akin to that style yeah absolutely and i like that you have like you know with rosa obviously it's you usually expect her to be disappointed with things but i loved the escalation of like yeah each even though they're all in competition each one just does get progressively better and it's also fun to watch like each of the bits is fun watching them throw down on the kids of the paintball range is fun the drinking game like i like that too I, we were talking before about like sometimes they make amy a bit too much of like ah you know stick in the mud nerd but like here it's like these this is one of those episodes where it's like oh perfect you know like yeah this the setup is very you but then it's something that everyone can get into and there's like the the, yeah, the i like how they all turned out good yeah exactly and rosa turned out to enjoy all of them but two in the you know kind of the um you know you just look back over the way all the different character relationships have evolved and i was like I like the Charles, like she singled out Charles, like he's the one who's the best, <laughs> you know, like I thought that was a cool way to kind of just show like the, the relationship journey between the two of them too, from, you know, him, you know, like crushing on her a ton to them just actually becoming really good friends and colleagues. Didn't you have an idea? Oh, to, to yeah, they made there. That's a real thing now is, uh, you can go to specific places where, yeah, you just pay for time and then you can wreck stuff. So, <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I, I, I'm sure, you know, somebody else came up with it too because <laughs> they exist now. But yeah, I think there's one in LA somewhere. Just destroy stuff. Yeah. You just get like a, you know, a coverall and, you know, a big mallet and stuff. And they have just like shit that you can destroy. It's like, I've seen people take pictures. It's like, a, it's like a TV and glass and yeah, you just kind of, how much does it cost? It's a great question. Ten thousand dollars. I think, in fact, I think the name is a pun. I think it's the one around here is called Rec Room, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Rec Room, Los Angeles. Let's see. L.A. is Rage Room and Axe Throwing. Look at that! You can get a Groupon deal. Let's see. It's just destroy stuff. One hour of Axe Throwing, but no, we wanted to get destruction. Let's see. Yeah, break, smash, destroy tickets. This is this is okay. Here we go. We're finally here. Come the on, rage room. book in the rage Get room. It. All right, suitable for ages ten and over. There's a glow in the dark experience. They have powerful speakers, so you can put on your music and stuff. You can bring your own stuff to break. There's a points system. Here. I want to know the cost. Okay. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, it's taking me to the ticket page. I swear this is gonna be worth it. It's going to be worth it. I mean, if an hour of axe throwing was like 50 bucks, like an hour of destroying stuff has to be around that 50 to to $100 range. I, I don't want to sign a waiver just to get this. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm clicking to sign the waiver. You've convinced me now. Just give me the rates. <laughs> How much <laughs> is an hour at rec room? God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, prices start at $25. Okay, now if I wanted to... If, if I wanted to torture a live person... Mm. Oh, I've got a, brow a web browser you should try. A web browser? Mm -hmm. I, I want to Oh, do you want to do it yourself. I want to do it myself. Okay. <laughs> it kind of excites me. Mm-hmm. 
I could see that. Yeah, it's actually a real rush. We could probably arrange for something like that. There are a lot of like empty, abandoned spaces we could start squatting in, and then you could, you know, carry out operations there. Because you know, it's can, empty. I can I record it? If you want to, I think I'd watch it all the time. Yeah, yeah. And then you, but but that's the thing is you'd watch it so much that then you'd have to make more. Yeah. Because you're gonna get you're gonna like need a bigger be rush than that one a weekly thing. Yeah. Uh huh. I think I'd enjoy my life more. Yeah, definitely. And there are definitely people we could thin out of the. Uh, I don't want to kill that population. Okay. But I don't want them to know it's me. That's part of what makes it fun. <laughs> I just want to. I just want. <laughs> you're not gonna kill them. You're just gonna like you know severely maim them. Yeah. Yeah. Anonymously. That's part of what excites me. No one ever. Where they go, but they'll never know who they'll did it. They'll never still think about this every day. You know, and you should taunt them. You should give them like clues about yourself, but that they could never yeah. actually figure out that are about you. I do reaction channels. <laughs> 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 oh, and then if you need to throw off, you know, your scent, then you can just start framing your friends. I mostly cover Marvel news. <laughs> I do breakdowns and endings explained. <laughs> uh, my when, name. He, when he killed that bug, that was so funny. I know. He's great. I hope that he's not actually <laughs> leaving for I real. Because <laughs> he's so much fun. I love him so he's much. He's perfect for the cast. Yeah, he I like know. He perfectly fits in. He does, and I, I really... Like, I could see it being just, like, a few episodes, but part of me is like, I could see him just being part of the show forever. He's, 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 he adds a great amount of, like, unpredictable life to any pairing they do with him. As long as they don't make him the star. Yeah. Like, he, like, if you do too much of him in a row, it can be overwhelming. But if you're, like, you know, you have a few episodes that are just focused on him. Don't make it the Hangover 3 where you take the side character... <laughs> who so works because exactly. they're a side character and then you make them the lead. All right. Let's do a patron of the day shot. <laughs> Everett Pixel, my baker, if there's anyone we would kidnap and beat up anonymously. It would be, you, be buddy. you, Let's test that Pixel Might. This is going to be a growing experience for you. Maybe you'll overpower us and get out of it, you know? And then where would we be? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. We're gonna we're gonna come to like where you work, maybe. We're gonna put a bag on your head, and we're gonna transport you. But we're gonna do it really gently because we don't want to hurt you until we intended to hurt you. So, <laughs> towing to that good line of uh, I don't think you should tow it. I think you got to go into getting canceled pledge yeah, territory. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're going to take you to an undisclosed location. <laughs> we're just going to like throw you on the ground and be like, ha, 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 this is what you get for joining the Patreon, Everett Baker. And then you're going to be like, oh, I only joined one Patreon. I bet I know who's behind this. And we're going to be like, no, and that's the point at which we start like, you know, kicking you. And then maybe we'll get like a, a blowtorch and we'll like burn you with the blowtorch. And then we'll we'll start whipping out like more creative things. Like we'll get like a medieval flail out. There we you go. Know? Finally. Yeah. Jesus. What's oh. taking so long? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get some like leather whips and stuff yeah. like that. And, and we'll hook that's you up a, to a car battery. Video. Yeah, and then we'll get some uh, some live piranhas, and we're gonna you know put them yeah. all over you, and we're gonna cover you in something tasty. We're gonna cover you in chum and fish guts, so the piranhas are just like, oh, we gotta eat this guy right here, right now. And we're gonna film it. We're gonna put it on the internet, and we're gonna sell it as a live stream here on YouTube, and and, and then get demonetized. And then we're gonna flee, and then come back in different clothes, unmasked, and then be like. Everett, is Everett, that you? Are you okay? Did someone? Oh my god! Oh my god! Here, let's take you to the hospital. And they tried to frame us. And we're wow. heroes then. And then we're heroes for saving your life. And then, yeah. And then you'll was, have to stay pledged because we saved John. you. That was disgusting, and I'm sorry. That was gross. You should. Sure, you went too far. I'm leaving. The All show. you had to say was thank you, Everett. Thank you, Everett, <laughs> for <laughs> <the service. laughs> Now you've made him very uncomfortable. <laughs> Watch the review so that you understand the context. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't watch the review, you just skip to your shout out. You're gonna be like, "What the hell was that about?" <laughs> no, we, yo, no, we love you. It's, it's, it's all, it's, it's, it's jokes. We're, we're done. Thank you, Everett. <laughs>